So what we're going to do on this problem then is we're going to take a graph that they've given us that uh, f of x equals x minus 2 plus 3 and we're looking at absolute value of x minus 2 and hey guess what there's a place where this is not differentiable there's a lot of places it is but there's one place it isn't and when we're dealing with absolute value the one place that we're not differentiable is right where we're at our vertex so we need to figure out what our vertex is and the negative 2 and the 3 uh, are the giveaways for this so think about inside the absolute value what value of x makes a 0 so if I just go you know x minus 2 equals 0 what value does that give me 2 and then think about this when x minus 2 when that is 0 what value of y do I have and we're looking at a vertex at the point uh, 2 3 now here's the thing you can graph this as well on your calculator. Graph y, uh, y equals absolute value x minus 2, close absolute value plus 3, and take a look. Where your minimum occurs, where that v part of your graph is, your vertex, that is where we're not differentiable. So when I ask you, hey, find all the points in the domain where we aren't differentiable, we are not differentiable at this point right here at 2, 3. We are not differentiable. Okay, we cannot take a derivative at that point. So, <clears throat> uh, some other things that we can do with our calculator that are uh, pretty fun is we can use uh, what's called Ender to calculate a numerical derivative. And I'll put a calculator up right now and you can see what that looks like. Um, and it's really, really, really easy and this gives us an actual numerical value for uh, the derivative of x cubed when x is 2. Um, and so uh, there's how you do it and you can do it with Inspire and, 80, and the 84's and the 83's so it's really really nice um, use compute ender on your calculator to find the numerical derivative of x when x equals 0 why is your calculator not telling you the truth and the, and the reason uh, that that happens um, is, is your calculator is, is trying to find it's trying to do the math uh, and and you end up fooling your calculator at that specific um, um, spot. So it's going to tell you one value, but you have to be smart enough to know that when you are working with absolute value of x at zero, that's where we're going to get our vertex. And wherever that vertex happens, wherever that vertex happens, no derivative can occur there. Um, so play with your calculator for a little bit. Um, Ender is really, really nice. It's really, really handy. Um, and it really gives us a really good, accurate depiction of um, what it might look like uh, with the numerical derivative.